Hello friends. So today we will start our lecture number five of Elog to Static series. Okay. So let's proceed. In today's lecture, I am going to discuss about electric field. Yes, I am going to discuss about electric field. So, what is the electric field or what do we mean by electric field? Electric field is the region. Electric field is the region. Electric field is the region around a source charge. Source charge. Around a source charge within this region within this region its electrical influence its electrical influence influence can be can be experienced experienced so basically it means that if we have a source charge then electric field is the region within which we can experience the electrical influence of the charge okay suppose let me have the option of ledger select okay yeah thank you go back yeah i have a charge plus q and if i will have to draw the draw its uh, electric field region let's suppose its electrical influence will be in can be uh, experienced within this region okay so what i will have to do so electric field i will have to if i am saying that electric field at this point i will have to calculate okay at p let's suppose so i will have to calculate electric field at this region due to the source charge plus q isn't it yes let us see what do we mean by electric field intensity what do we mean by electric field intensity okay electric field intensity yes. so electric field intensity is a measure of measure of the strength of strength of measure of the strength of electric field electric field how does it denoted it is denoted by is denoted by e vector isn't it if we we will have to define it uh, so we can define it as electric field intensity at any point at any point inside inside the electric field is numerically numerically equals to force experienced experienced by a test charge test charge by a test charge what do we mean by test charge a test charge means a unit positive charge okay let me clarify you 
fast. What is test charge? Test charge means a unit positive charge. Okay. At that point. Understood? Yes. So, if I have a situation like this, if I have a charge plus Q here and I draw a electric field region around it like this, okay, and I'll have to calculate and I have a unit positive charge or you can say a test charge here. So how can we calculate the electric field intensity? Okay, the force experienced by the test charge. This one is the test charge and the distance between them, let's suppose R, the force experienced by this will be along this direction and this one is R vector. Okay, so how can I write that ER ER means electric field intensity at a distance R is equal to limit Q0 tends to 0 F of R divided by Q0. As we are considering Q0 as a test charge, we can define electric field intensity like this, isn't it? Okay, let's proceed further. Some important points about electric field, if I will have to say, is we can also define it as, as as electric field as simple as this: F divided by Q naught. Okay. So electric field intensity is a vector quantity. Remember this point vector quantity. And the direction, and if we, we will have to talk about its direction, direction of electric field intensity, electric field intensity is along, is along the direction of force experienced by test charge. experienced by test charge okay so now what should be its unit we have e is equal to f by q so we can write its unit as newton divided by coulomb as the unit of force is newton and the unit of charge is coulomb so its unit becomes newton per coulomb in SI, if I will have to write it in CGS, then I will write dyne for stat coulomb, isn't it? Coulomb in CGS, this one is ESU, and if I will uh, have another CGS system of unit, then I will write it as dyne per coulomb in CGS, but in EMU system of units okay is this clear let me talk about the dimension of electric field dimension of electric field intensity its dimension we have force for charge we have force dimension as m1 l1 t minus 2 isn't it and charge for charge we have as as we have current ampere that is ampere is q by, per t so i can write it as m naught l naught t t1 a1 isn't it so what does it become m1 l1 t minus 3 a minus 1. This one is the dimension formula for force, for electric field intensity, sorry, electric field intensity. Okay. So, uh, 
let us do some of the important derivations here okay electric field intensity at any point due to a point charge okay how to calculate electric field intensity at any point at any point due to a point charge due to a point charge okay so let us consider one case that is when the charge when the charge is situated at the origin okay when the charge is situated at the origin so how can we define that one let us consider a source charge is present or is situated at the origin o of a 3d cartesian coordinate system this one is my x axis this one is my y axis let's suppose this one is my z axis isn't it yes and the source charge is present here that is plus q at this origin let's suppose at a distance of r i have my test charge q naught okay my test charge q naught and the force acting on it due to the source charge is this one has coordinate x y z p x y z is f force acting on is f and the distance is r vector okay so if i will have to calculate the force acting on these test charge due to the source charge so how can we write it f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital q into small q naught r square and the direction r cap so electric field intensity formula is f divided by q naught isn't it so what will it become 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r square into r cap q not get cancelled out okay i can also write it as e vector is equal to 1 by 4 5 epsilon naught q upon r cube r vector isn't it yeah let's suppose give it an equation one so in 3d cartesian coordinate system i have the coordinates of the test charge is p x y z okay so i can write it the distance r as x square plus y square plus z square root over if i will have to write its magnitude only i can write it like this so electric field intensity becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital q divided by x square plus y square plus z square power 3 by 2 okay by putting the value of this magnitude of r into x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap isn't it yes this one equation number two okay so if i will have to write the components of electric field along the three uh three cartes and axis then what i will write write i can write it like this ex the component along x axis i can write it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by x square plus y square plus z square power 3 by 2 into x isn't it and similarly ey i can write it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by x square plus y square plus z square power 3 by 2 into y similarly ez i can also write as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by x square plus y square plus z square power 3 by 2 into z 
one important thing that uh, I'll recommend you uh, for your wasting of time, you can watch it the video in 1.5x because I am telling it so slowly for understanding of it. Okay, so we are done with it. Let's move to the next part. Let's suppose when the case two, when the source, when the source, when the source isn't at the origin but is situated when the source is situated situated anywhere in the first case we consider that source as is present at the origin but in the second case let us take the source as is situated anywhere in the Cartesian system okay so let us derive the expression for electric field or force acting on it let me draw this for you so it it doesn't become the straight line let me try once um, okay let me erase this sorry for the disturbance let me try again okay so this is my Cartesian coordinate system this one is my x axis this one is y axis this one is my z axis it is present anywhere the sources let me take it here at point a this one is my plus q charge and this here i am taking my q naught that is my test charge or unit positive charge let me draw the position vectors okay and here is the distance Oops, sorry. okay so this one is r vector this one is r naught vector and the resultant becomes r minus r naught minus r vector okay this one is point b this one is point a the force acting on q naught is along this direction that is f naught vector let's move forward so ab ab is how much ab is r naught minus r vector isn't it okay so if force acting on this force acting on the twist charge is f naught is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital q q naught divided by ab square a B K F isn't it? So what it will become? One by four pi epsilon naught q q naught divided by r. If I am taking the magnitude only, I can write it as r vector minus r naught vector, isn't it? And r vector minus r naught vector minus r vector. Uh, this one becomes q and this one becomes vector okay and e vector the electric field intensity expression will be f divided by q naught isn't it so it will become 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r minus r naught vector q into r minus r not minus r vector or you, you can also write it as r not minus r okay no problem this one is the electric field intensity expression do you get yes so for uh, special cases like uh, i have one special case have one special case 
special case what is that special case if the source as is kept at the origin then from here only uh, our r vector becomes what r vector becomes zero then i can write it as e vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital q divided by r naught magnitude q into your r naught vector what it will become 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r naught square isn't it yes it is this is the general expression for electric field intensity okay so let me uh, tell you uh, to our next section next section is all about electric field lines or electric lines of force electric electric lines of force electric lines of force let us start with our definition 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 is very very important for electric lines of force so electric lines of force electric lines of force is the path mainly it is the path drawn drawn inside inside an electric field inside an an electric field inside an electric field along which along which a test charge a test charge test charge means a unit positive charge moves if it is free to do so okay properties of electric lines of force if i will have to say the properties of electric lines of force properties in the exam mainly question asked from this section that is properties of electric lines of force so force very very important this one is very very important for you students okay so first of all the first property you should have known that electric lines of force directed away from positive charge and directed towards the negative charge if i have this one is the positive charge then electric lines of force will be directed away from positive charge will be directed away from positive charge okay like this the direction will be outward if i have negative charge if i have negative charge then the electric lines of force will be directed inward okay towards the negative charge are you getting my point students okay then fine the second point the second property the second property is one unit positive charge gives four pi number of electric lines of force in free space one unit pod one unit of positive charge charge gives how many numbers of electric lines of force charge gives okay where i am okay one unit of positive charge sorry how can i erase it Okay. One unit of positive charge gives let me choose the power pen gives four pi number of electric lines of force in free space in free space free space okay the third point is the third property or the third point is electric lines of force tends to contract longitudinally 
longitudinally tends to contract tends to contract contract longitudinally remember this word longitudinally what does it mean by c if i have one positive charge like this and i have one negative charge like this the electric lines of force will be like this this contracts how oh. longitudinally okay sorry the direction would be in what the other direction will be outward because positive charge isn't it okay like this your electric lines of force will contact okay the fourth point is the fourth point is electric lines of force exert lateral pressure electric lines of force exert exert lateral force force what does it mean by if i have two positive charges with me if i have two positive charges with me what happens they exert lateral pressure like this they exert pressure upon each other what does it signifies that the electric lines of force exert lateral force upon each other and the fifth and uh, not the least the point is fifth property is two electric lines of force two electric lines of force never intersect each other intersect each other okay these are a uh, few points i have some more points to end with electric lines of force never pass through a spherical or a hollow conductor this one is a very very important point that is electric lines of force never pass through a spherical or hollow conductor remember this point spherical or hollow conductor conductor and the last but not the least electric lines of force comes out from the surface of a charged conductor normally electric lines of force comes out from the surface of a charged conductor normally normally means perpendicular always electric lines of force are perpendicular to the surface from which it's come out okay these are the electric field lines the electric lines of force properties okay you will have to memorize or remember it by practice if you remember all this the questions two marks or three marks questions comes directly in the exam about right the properties of electric lines of force okay you will have to remember this okay.